This is looking into her right hip. It's down to the inferior fold of the capsule, the femoral neck, from the bottom of the picture. When we sweep up, and on the left hand side of the picture, you can see coming in the articular surface of the femoral head and the labrum just under. So we're just performing an impingement test now. So flexing the hip up, and you can see that as the head goes into the socket, pushing the labrum out of the way. And as we come out again, you can see the head is coming out of the socket as the labrum comes down behind it, giving us a positive impingement test. So having identified the impingement lesion, we're now just going to mark out the area for resection using the diathermy. You can see we start medially, then working more laterally. So having marked out the area, then use the um, burr to remove the, uh, the bump to perform the femoral osteochondroplasty. And I like to do this from medial to lateral, gradually sweeping, leaving a nice uh, radius of curvature. I also like to do this so that it enables constant visualisation of bone removal level compared to the uh, remaining lateral bone. Also like to use a 5.5 abrader burr, which is quite a large instrument. It can be difficult to get in, but its greater radius of curvature gives you a, a better ability to um, create a smoother surface. Whereas the smaller burrs tend to dig into the femoral neck and create uh, uh, not, not such a nice uh, smooth finish. Back in with the uh, diathermy wand again, just looking down the most lateral part of the, uh, the femoral head neck junction, you can just see the vessels just there on the right hand side of the screen. So it's poking into view there, and that's wants to um, that'll limit the extent of our neck resection. So we're just going to diathermy over here, and then we'll put the uh, burr back in and, and complete our osteochondroplasty, and then followed by. Um, Repeat impingement testing here. So we flex the hip up. You can see there's a nice gap between the labrum and the femoral head cartilage. And you can see we're just repeating the impingement test again just to confirm adequate resection of the femoral head neck junction.